please. All right. How about now? That should work. Did that work? Did that work? Good. Give us a thumbs up if our volume. Yeah. It's good. It should be on. All right. There it is. We got a thumbs up. All right. We're good now. We're ready <laughs> to go. So I'll say again. Power Life TV broadcast, Power Life TV channel. This is Pastor Brian. And Pastor Tasha. And we're here to give you another great Restoring Families broadcast. Amen. 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 What we were saying is today is Thursday and we have, we had Raymond Cafe last night and it was on and popping. Yes. And we had a good time, good crowd, good yes. online crowd. Uh, that's okay. That's all right. They can see, ask them if they can see us. Okay. They should be able to see us. Um, give us a thumbs up if you can see us. Amen. But we've been talking about uh, something very powerful concerning marriage and family. And uh, I like to throw the graphic up there because it, it's, it has, it'll catch your attention. Uh, okay. It's called Love, Sex, and Dating. Yep. So see, see, we got two thumbs up. They can see us. All right, and then Rachel can see us. See, hey Rachel. Good morning. <laughs> you know, when, you know when you're dealing with live, you gotta deal with technical things. That's true. Yeah. So, but <laughs> what, what? Chad says it was on and popping. It was on and popping. <laughs> <laughs> so good morning, everyone. Thank y'all for watching us so early in the morning. Uh, but now, since y'all are commenting, let us know what you think about this particular subject matter. Yes, love, sex, and dating. Mm. You know, and when you are born again and, you know, you are truly sold out for God, you just want to do what's right, yeah. you know? Yes, so and, yeah. and, you know, first of all, your righteousness is not based on your right doing. It's just based on your right believing. Mm -hmm. Once you trust in the Lord, once you receive Him as Lord and Savior, it's a sealed deal. Yeah. And His righteousness that He gives you is unconditional. Mm -hmm. So whether you do right or you do wrong, you are still right. But now we were saved unto good works. Mm -hmm. So now as a Christian, yes, you watch over your own works, not for righteousness, not for acceptance, but for witness. Yeah, that's right. That's good. For witness. And because you are a student of the word, it's a, it's a matter of displaying your discipleship. Mm -hmm. You know, it should be obvious if a person is a disciplined one. Mm -hmm. If they're a disciple of Christ. Why? Because they display all the attributes of Jesus' disciples. Yeah. So when it comes to love, sex, and dating, how can I still be a disciple yeah. and be relevant when it comes to love, sex, and dating? I love what you just said. And, and basically, <laughs> I, you know, just to break it all down in layman's terms, it means that if you're going to be saved, then act saved. Act saved because of the of the nature that you have. You have a nature of God on the inside of you. So just act saved. You know, when you start dating and you go as far as the world will go, you know, yeah, like, like you're sleeping together or you're doing different things um, that married people do. Right. You know, it could cause another person to stumble and fall, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, no condemnation to those that are in Christ Jesus. You say, well, you know, the barn door is open and the cow is already gone out. And Besides that, yeah, you know, yeah. I didn't really know any better. Yeah, I didn't know any better, you know, but now that you know better, you can do better. Yes. And you can repent and, and, and practice working on discovering one another. Yeah. You know, date for discovery. And so we got some good points today that we want to try to hit. And um, we left off yesterday talking about the, uh, well, we gave the scripture. So go ahead and read the scripture. Ephesians 5, 8 through 11. <clears throat> so what we, the main point that we were making is walk in a godly understanding mm -hmm. concerning yeah. love, sex, and dating. So Ephesians 5, 8 through 11 says to walk in the light. Mm -hmm. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Mm -hmm. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. Finding out what is acceptable to the Lord. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. Yeah. So it's not that... You become unrighteous when you deal with unrighteous works, right? 
works of the flesh. Mm -hmm. It's just that when a person is a Christian and they they deal with the unrighteous works or they go about love, sex, and dating in an unrighteous manner, it just means that they're carnal. Mm -hmm. They're a carnal Christian, one who is led by the flesh instead of led by the spirit. Mm -hmm. So how can we be led by the spirit in mm -hmm. our walk mm -hmm. when it comes to love, sex, and dating? So yeah, yesterday we looked, we left off talking about just be yourself, mm. and um, you know I wanna I wanna kind of address some of those things again about just just be yourself and is, remember is, who you are. Is there a certain pressure you think among Christians to not walk as a Christian when it comes oh, yeah. to love, sex, and dating? Oh yeah, because of the of the outside influences, you mm -hmm. know. Um, you got the four A's, and, and we haven't taught on it like we should yet, but you have this A called acceptance. Mm -hmm. You have this A called affirmation. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there, there's an A called um, um, I can't think adoration. Of it. Adoration. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, and it, attention. And attention. That's the big one. So, <laughs> so you have this outside influence pressing down on you. Yes. To conform to its image, conform yes. to its mold. And everybody loves these things. Listen, we all like attention. Yeah. We all like to be accepted. Mm -hmm. We all like to be affirmed and everybody likes to be adored. Mm -hmm. The thing about what we're saying is that when those things take precedence and become your idol, mm. then now when it comes to the arena of love, that's, sex, and dating, that's right. it becomes your idol. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. If you're not worshipped in this manner, if mm. you don't receive the gifts of your idol, then sometimes, you know, people will bow down to the pressure of those things and stop serving God to serve these idols mm -hmm. in their life. That's true. That's true. You know, so when we go back to, and I believe Genesis uh, 1 and 26 is kind of one of the last scriptures we read. And it says, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness yes. so you have to get your identity in him you yes. have to see the pressure comes in and the acceptance adoration the affirmation the you know uh, the attention all of those things are coming because you don't know who you are yes you don't know whose image yeah you know a lot of times people in the dating arena don't look any different from the non-Christian. Mm -hmm. And it's because, you know, there's not a lot of instruction out there on how do I conduct myself in mm -hmm. a relationship if I'm a Christian. Right. And then there's a lot of bad instruction out there because, you know, a lot of people who are born again today were not born again when they were dating. Mm -hmm. And so you have Christians out there mm -hmm. saying, mm -hmm. do what comes natural. Yeah, yeah. If it feels good, do it. <laughs> if it feels good, do it. This is how... You know, me and me and my husband, we did all the wrong things and look, it worked out for us. Mm -hmm. And so they're instructing people to do unrighteousness and expecting them to get a righteous result. Yeah. And I think sometimes our memory yeah. is not as you good. You preaching good now, right? Now. <laughs> our our <laughs> memory is not as good as we think. think because was, we yeah. remember the good old days, but we don't remember the bad old times mm -hmm. that we had mm -hmm. in those good old days. Mm -hmm. Because there's a lot of emotional things that come forth and a, uh, a severe emotional ties that come from a break, makeup and breakup, makeup yes. and breakup, makeup and breakup. I mean, you're practicing divorce. Yes. You're literally practicing divorce. And, you know, I don't know about you, but I didn't like the feeling mm -hmm. because there's like a ripping away even of a person that you called a boyfriend or a girlfriend. And mm -hmm. there was a ripping away of your very being. And yes. so... To, to avoid all of that pain, let's let's find out how we should conduct ourselves. Yes, and really, if you're attracted to a, 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 a boy or if you're attracted to a girl, I say boys and girls, I don't know why I say that, but you know, I know we're talking to adults and mm -hmm. we're talking to men and women. Don't try to be something you're not so they'll like you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's one of the points we made yesterday. We said, be yourself, but I should say this, be your Christian self. Yeah, your authentic self. Your authentic self. Your real self. Don't yeah. hide your relationship with Christ mm. from the person who you're attracted to so that they will like you. Yeah. 
That's you know, right. mm-hmm. don't don't That's do good. that because if you do it now, you're going to have to keep doing it. Mm-hmm. You know, you're going to have to keep hiding Jesus mm-hmm. uh, from or, the or and I don't cut you off <laughs> or don't. All of a sudden, you want to be saved and join the church just because you want to get with this girl. That's oh man, that's going. We've seen to that church. before. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, you pretend to be sister or brother super Christian, and then before you know it, you can't maintain the act. Yeah, the, act. Yeah, the, the seepage will come out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, so we talked about those things. We talked about just being your true Christian self. Mm-hmm. We talked about consider the fact that you cannot maintain the act. <laughs> for very long. Yeah. You can't keep pretending. Mm-hmm. And so today what we want to hit on is being patient and yeah. trusting in God's timing when it comes to his ability to display or reveal the right mate. Mm-hmm. There is a mm-hmm. place in mm-hmm. all this where you should be pressing into God mm-hmm. and saying, you know, Lord, you are more than enough. Mm-hmm. Lord, you supply all of my needs according to your riches and glory mm-hmm. through Christ Jesus. Mm-hmm. You should be saying, Lord, I trust in you with all my heart. Mm-hmm. And I lean not to my own understanding. In all my ways, I acknowledge you and you direct my path. Mm-hmm. So when it comes to love, sex, and dating, you know, you got to go to God and say, well, Lord, am I ready for marriage? Because you should not be dating to date. Yeah. You should be dating mm-hmm. with an end game of marriage, marriage. in right. mind. If you don't think that's what you want, if all you want is fellowship, have friends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have fellowship. Mm-hmm. Have companionship. Mm-hmm. But make it clear, this is where we're going. Yeah. We're, we're just friends. And I think, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. honestly, so good. So good. that that's a great place to be even when it comes to marriage Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh you and i had when we met each other we had no you know thoughts of being boyfriend or girlfriend or being anything more than friends and because of that because there was no pressure of a friendship in there we don't no no pressure of a uh, of a relationship in there any relationship like a sexual relationship there was no pressure of a sexual relationship or a friendship yeah so the things that caused us to be so close today, it developed naturally. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We were just friends. Yeah, yeah. You know, we yeah. just liked to be in each other's company. Yeah, and it wasn't like, yeah, we, we weren't pretentious. We weren't pretentious. Yeah, we didn't, yeah, didn't have to put on airs. Or yes, we could just laugh together and mm-hmm. enjoy, you know, each other's company. And we're just naturally drawn to each other mm-hmm. because we like to be around each other. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. That's right. That's it. That's right. Yeah. And so, you know, there comes a time when you say, I want somebody in my life or I have a desire in my heart to have someone to care for, somebody to care for me. You know, I have my act together. I've done the things I needed to to get myself together or I'm doing those things. What do you do? You know, then you need to ask God to reveal Mm -hmm. and to show you uh you know who the right person is because it's your desire Mm -hmm. so isaiah 40 and verse 31 says this but those who wait on the lord Mm -hmm. shall renew their strength a lot of times we want to do things on our own and in our time and i want to talk about that as you know because when you talk about the word timing and then i heard i heard a minister say this before he said anything that you try to put in god's timing is demonic and i to a certain extent, I knew where he was coming from. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there are some things that you have to learn how to wait on. Mm-hmm. And, and and what is waiting on the Lord? We mm-hmm. have to, let's define that for just a minute. Because mm-hmm. many times we look at, well, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm like a waiter. And I'm waiting for the Lord to move. I'm waiting for the Lord to give me the next commandment and the next direction. I'm waiting for this. I'm waiting for that. But it, it goes a little bit deeper. Mm. Uh, waiting creates extreme focus. Yeah, it does. Waiting causes you to stop focusing on everything else. Ooh, that's and you're, good. And you're, and you're watching uh, <laughs> what the Lord is doing. And I, I liken it to a woman who's having her child, having Ooh. a baby. Lord Jesus. Um, it, is, it, is, it is the same type of Hebrew word. Now, when a woman has a baby... You know, I don't know this. <laughs> Y'all know men. If men had to have babies, 
we would that probably go. The end of the earth. The whole population. the whole population would have died. We wouldn't have, have anything done. to talk about. <laughs> we wouldn't even be here right now. <laughs> but but women, when when it's time for that baby to come forth, mm-hmm. you're not caring about who's playing on the playing in the Super Bowl. You don't you don't care. You don't about care who, about who's in the room. You don't care about who's in the room. You don't care about paying a light bill. All you know is that you're going to see the face of your child and the extreme amount of pain that. Uh, let me let me say it like this: the extreme amount of focus that you have. But but when it comes to dating or when it comes to waiting on a mate, yes, we don't have that same extreme amount of focus. We yep. don't we don't even know what it what our future spouse will look like. That's so true. You, you, I mean, I just kind of have to back it up a bit because I still remember, you know, when you're having a baby, you're in such a vulnerable position, right? And then I, I say, still, yep, it's over. It's, <laughs> and I still remember when that pain hits and that pressure comes and it's time for that baby to, 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 to yep. enter this world. I remember all those doctors and nurses running into the room because, you know, yeah. it, it, my babies, they, they all were pr- born pretty fast. Yeah. And boy, they would all run. And any other time I'd be like, no, no. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. uh, I wouldn't have wanted all that. But when it was time for the baby to come out, come it's on, like, now. I don't care who gets in here. Just That's get good. this baby out. That's good. Come on. Preach. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I did not care. So when you, you I was focused. You were focused. <laughs> but here's the thing. Not many people get into dating situations and dating things and don't even know what they want. Oh, that's so true. They don't know what well, they, they want. Well, they think, well, when I see it, I'll know. Yeah. But yeah. you know, I was I was like that to a certain degree. Mm-hmm. I knew what I didn't want. Mm-hmm. That's and that's good too. I knew what I didn't want. Mm-hmm. And so anything that looked like what I didn't want, I just pretty much said and Bye. that's good because vision uh, not only shows you where to go, vision will tell you where not to go. That's so true. And and, and most and, th- and where I'm going with this because we're still talking about waiting on the Lord and knowing God's timing is get a vision for your spouse. Get a vision for the person that you want to be in relationship with. You know, it, the same was for you and I. Mm-hmm. When I knew what I didn't want. Anymore, yes. You know, I, I just was tired of it. And I said, Lord... I'm ready to be married. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to be married. And you and I have been friends for about a year. Mm-hmm. And I said, I'm ready, you know. And the first person I walked up to was you. That's you know? right. And I was not knowing that you had these things on your mind, you mm-hmm. know. I was just happy to see my buddy. Hey, hey, what video. What you doing here? What, what are you doing here? <laughs> Looking for a wife. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, what? That we're not talking about finding a wife. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking about playing pool. You yeah. want to play some pool? Yeah, I'm looking for a wife. I was focused. I was focused. <laughs> you got to be focused. I'm like, what is he drinking or smoking today? <laughs> but when uh, when you're in that place of, of like, okay, all right, Lord, I'm ready. Mm-hmm. Now the Lord will begin to order your steps. Yes. So, you know, Isaiah 41 and 30 says, but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Mm-hmm. In other words, mm-hmm. if you're discouraged, so if you're sad, if you're feeling down, you're not in the right state of mind to even be out there. Okay. Yeah, preach that. Because you're going to end again. up with something that you never wanted. Yeah. Come you're going to be out there fishing and you're going to get, you know, the wrong kind of fish. Yeah. You're going to get a a shark on your on your hook yeah yeah <laughs> and it's going to be something that bites it'll be something that hurts yeah stings. and so yeah. something that stings you know it might be a toilet seat <laughs> cover or something mm. so if you want to catch the right thing you know you're going to have to have the right state of mind mm-hmm. if you're desperate for any old thing you just might get that, mm, that you know good. if you feel if you're feeling desperate then you need to go back to the word mm-hmm. you so need good. to renew your mind with the word of god you need to ke- catch the right image mm-hmm. you have to know you know notice that when man was in the garden he never knew that he needed somebody else mm. And you should be of the state of mind that you don't need anybody else to be happy. You don't need anybody else to be whole. You don't need somebody to pay your bills. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, you're not getting married to get somebody to get you 
uh, out of your lifestyle. Or get you, you out of a situation. Or get you out of a situation. If you are marrying or if you're dating for those reasons, you have the wrong frame of mind. Wow. Get whole. Mm -hmm. Notice that Adam in the garden was whole. Mm -hmm. And we should go to that. Yeah. We yeah. should go to that. Let's look. take, take a look at that. Genesis. It's probably in chapter 2. 2 there and you 15, you think? Mm -hmm. And it says that the Lord took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to tend it and to keep it. So God... Gave him purpose. Yes. This man had a job. Mm -hmm. This man had a purpose. Mm -hmm. This man had oh. something oh, to so do. Good. And he never felt like he needed anybody but God mm -hmm. to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. If you drop down though, verse 18, read that. And it says, and the Lord said in verse 18, it is not good that man should be. And it uses the word alone, but that word alone was a mistranslation. Mm -hmm. It's really a Hebrew word that means all one. Mm -hmm. And if you ask people who are of a Judaic background, what is what is God saying right here? Mm -hmm. God is saying that the That's man true. was so self-sufficient mm -hmm. and so capable mm -hmm. of doing what he was doing. He had such a strong sense of purpose and he had such good results mm -hmm. that he never felt like he needed, needed anybody any else. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. because of what happened with Satan, mm -hmm. with the fall of, of Satan, God didn't want man to think that he was so good mm -hmm. that he was God himself yeah. and usurp authority yeah. and he didn't want to have another disaster yeah. like he did with Satan. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, when you look at uh, Adam, he was, going back to what you just said, he was all one. He was all one. He, he had his one. act together. Yeah. You're not quite ready yeah. if you don't have your act together. If you're single and you say, I want to mate, I want to get married, get your act together yeah, first. Yeah, that's right. But here's what, here's what verse 18 said. God says it's not good. It's just not good. That man be all one. So the problem of Adam being self-sufficient, self, here's a, here's a big word, self-preserved. Yes. Many people, when they've been hurt many times, they drop, they, they get into a place of self-preservation. Yes. And I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to do me. I'm not going to uh, allow anyone into my space that will hurt me. And when you look at that, God said, that's not good. Mm. It's not good for you to try to take care of yourself because you're violating the purpose that God had. Now, yes. Adam had purpose, mm. but God also had purpose. And he said, the thing that we should do is I need to make him someone who's comparable. Yes, that's right. I need to make him someone that the two of them can become one again. I can, yes. take, I can take one, I can take two out of the one and bring them together That's good. and they become one again. Yes. And in that, I can fulfill my purpose in the earth yes. of fruitful, yes. multiply, mm -hmm. replenish, and subdue. You can't do that on your own. That's right. And what's so interesting, I think, about this verse is that a lot of women have an inferiority complex. That's, that's true. They think, you know, and as much as we have all this women's liberation stuff and all this women's freedom and women's equality, a lot of times, even in a relationship, a woman feels less than. Mm -hmm. You know, in the United States, even, you know, in, in out in society, they tend to treat women a little bit different than men. Mm -hmm. They pay them less even for the same kind of work. They, You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so exactly there right. is a, a level of discrimination that women go through, you know, even in this era. But do you know that that was not God's intent when he didn't want man to think that he was God and God alone mm. or he, what he did is he made him a helper or a companion yeah. mm -hmm. who was comparable to him. Yeah. In other words, in a right. relationship, yeah, come on. You, there should be no 
uh, master slave mentality. Mm -hmm. That was so a good. part of the fall. So good. That so was good. a part of the curse. And God cursed the curse mm -hmm. at some point. Mm -hmm. And he said that there would be no more curse mm. in the earth. Yeah. You know, there would be no more punishment of that nature. He did away with that. Mm -hmm. And so now we're free to have a, an, a relationship based on we're both full of purpose. We are yes. both That's so good. whole. Yeah. Um, my existence does not depend upon you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and I said this before, mm -hmm. uh, that I love you with so much. Mm -hmm. All that's within me. You know, I love you. And I display that love. Yeah. So, so good. Come on. But if something were to happen to you, I would not crawl in the casket with you. Mm -hmm. Say that. I would not do that. Yeah. yeah. Because to and me. I wouldn't want that. I wouldn't want that. To thing. me, that's not showing wholeness. Come on. That's showing brokenness. Yeah. That's wow. showing wow. that there's something missing and something broken. And, you know, we hear these sayings, you know, I find my wholeness and I find my completeness in you. And yes, it's so you nice to find me, yeah. a person who is compatible, who is comparable, whom you get along with on that level. You should always find somebody who you have chemistry with mm -hmm. yes absolutely mm -hmm. but if something were to happen to one if something were to happen to me i would not want brian to live the rest of his life grieving and being broken and mm -hmm. letting everything in his life fall by the wayside i wouldn't want him to yeah. stop having yeah. purpose mm -hmm. i wouldn't want him to stop pursuing god mm -hmm. and pursuing happiness so God wants you whole. That's it. If you're single, That's so you shouldn't That's be worse. pursuing wholeness in another person. You should be pursuing wholeness and purpose in Christ. That's right. You should renew your mind mm -hmm. to the truth of God's word concerning singleness. That's right. That's right. We got to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I, our time just flew by, and, and I, I looked up, and I was like, oh, my gosh. Okay. But the thing Is that... Yeah, the thing that we have to, we really have to dive into here, and the thing that I, I don't want you to forget, or we don't want you to forget, is that you are whole and you have a purpose, mm -hmm. and you must find the focus that you need. Uh, I say this, and I and I read it read it out of this book called The Fourth Dimension. There was a man that, well, there was a woman that wanted a husband, and what she did is she went out and made a vision. Mm -hmm. She wrote out exactly what she wanted in a husband mm -hmm. um, that he would be. Uh, musician that he would be tall he would be this color he'd be that he'd be that and she got exactly what she believed for because she had focus mm -hmm. you know a vision will give you focus because if you a person without vision their life runs wild mm -hmm. they, they try any and everything because they have no vision mm -hmm. so come back tomorrow we're going to continue in this series and in this subject i pray you're enjoying it uh give us some <laughs> likes give us some loves let us know Praise yes. the Lord. Uh, how this is ministering to you. Amen. We also want to give you an opportunity to sow. We want to give you, um, well, praise the Lord. This thing's not working and it's live. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you can go to our website and go to wordpowerchurch.com, click on the donate, mm -hmm. and, and just sow into these messages. Yeah, we encourage you to partner with us. You know, uh, when we, when, uh, when you partner with this message, you're sowing into your own future. And you might say, well, I'm not single, mm -hmm. but are you whole? Yeah. You know, something we said today ministered to you, whether you're single, married, or uh, what's the other word? What do they say on Facebook? It's complicated. Complicated. <laughs> I'm in an in uh, entanglement. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not nice. <laughs> you see, I knew he was going to take that. Lord have mercy. Level. Forgive me, Jesus. Amen. But yeah, partner with this <laughs> and uh, continue to uh, take this word all over. You said, like my wife said, maybe you're not in this particular situation, but you know somebody who is. Share this video. Share the video. Share share this video with your love, with your with your your young folks. Mm -hmm. You know the young ones who are out there looking for a new love. Amen. Amen. You know somebody else to share their time with. Yeah. To sh to go, you know, party with. Yeah. 
give them this video. Amen. Let us bless you today. The Lord bless you and keep you. The, the Lord, Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. We, we declare shalom and blessings over your life. And we declare that Jesus is Lord and he's upholding all things by the word of his power. Be blessed. We love you. And we'll see you 